We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey, I live on a job. Right. Yeah, I'm always at work. Right. Real people stay by me. Right. Haters wanna do hurt. Right. No, they tryna stop me. Right. Drag my name through dirt. Right. I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so special, facts. I know my worth, facts. My bloodline royal, facts. We the kings of the earth, right? You can't stop this, nah, nah. You can't stop this, no way, yo. Because you got a lot of information today, right? So, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Judah, all praises. Uh, brother, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Judah, all praises, sis. Judah, so all y'all know y'all are Israelites from the tribe of Judah, that's right? Fine. All praises, so that's a start. So we need to understand what our true nationality is, right? And then from there, let me get Deuteronomy 10 and verse 12. So now what can we do to walk as an Israelite woman and to walk as an Israelite man, right? Because keep in mind, the reason why this happened to us is because we didn't keep God's commandments. Right? This happened because we did not keep God's commandments. So the question is, what commandments do I need to keep in order for this not to happen? Bring it up. Right? So let's get Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Sorry, I didn't get y'all names. Hold on. What's your name again? Shante, Tiffany. Sis, what's your name? Dora, Laura. Oh no, Nora. Laura. Okay, I'm, I'm bad with. <laughs> uh, so Shante, what was it again? Tiffany, La Laura. Brother, what's your name? Say again. Ernest and sis. Mary, Johnny. All right. So this is what y'all need to do to walk as an Israelite woman and to walk as an Israelite man. Remember, like I said, the reason why slavery happened is because we broke God's commandments. The reason why we're all still oppressed today is because we broke God's commandments. Right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what did the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy, with thy heart and with all thy soul. So he's going to sum it down to one thing, read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Now we got to keep the commandments. So let me ask you a question. What's today? Memorial Day. Today's Memorial Day. Today's Memorial Day, right? So y'all celebrating Memorial Day? No. No? You just on vacation? Okay. You don't celebrate more today, so but y'all just on vacation. Right? Okay, that's good. But why do y'all chose now to go on vacation? Because right now a lot of people's traveling, so guess what? The flight tickets go high, hotel ticket uh, the, the hotel fees go high, right? Gases go high, so yeah, the club fees go high. So why do y'all take this time to actually travel while everything's so high? Bring it out. So why are you out here? Because you dragged her along, right? Okay. Well, what, was it be All right. Well, was it because of Memorial Day weekend? Okay. Did, uh, right. 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 Now, did you go? Right. So let's get Peter's four and three. Now, did did y'all go to the beach yet? Y'all always go to the beach. All right. So, but when you go there, keep in mind. You're over there, it's Memorial Day, so people's gonna think y'all celebrating Memorial Day. Right, right, 
right? So that's something that you got to understand. Let's read. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4 and verse 3. For the time past of our life may sacrifice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. When we walk in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, reveling, banqueting, and abominable idolatry. Now what comes with Memorial Day? Drinking, clubbing, lust, right, fornication. So you got brothers trying to sleep with sisters. You got whoremongering going on. You also got violence because there's been instances where there's fighting going on in Memorial Day. That's why there's a lot of high police presence over there. So it's not a good thing when you're out here traveling during this time of Memorial Day because now people's gonna think you're celebrating it. So what you should do is take into consideration on the times that you travel. So if, you think, if you're thinking about traveling, don't choose these holidays to, to, to go travel. Travel on days where there's not a lot of stuff going on so you don't uh, you know, be in that appearance of evil. Right? Read that again. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4 and verse 3. So all this come with Memorial Day. Read. For the time past of our life may suffice us to rot the will of the Gentiles when we walk in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings. Reveling means clubbing. Did y'all go clubbing over the weekend? I did, yes. You went clubbing? Yes, sir. You went clubbing? You went clubbing, sis. Sis, that, sis, that you're you're in sin. You're in sin because and and you friend and she goes along as well. So you're 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 going into sin and you're dragging her along with you. Right. Right. So that's something you gotta understand. So when you're going clubbing, there's a lot of sin in that. The environment is wicked. Like I mentioned, access to of drinking, people getting drunk. You got sex, you got drugs, fornication, whoremongering, and you got a lot of stuff going on over there. So let's get Deuteronomy uh, 28 and verse 61, because when you're doing all this, these things, there's a judgment for that. Now remember, the reason why we went into slavery was because we broke God's commandments. God is still going to judge us today in 2021. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. So this is what's going to happen when y'all go clubbing. Read. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. So God said every sickness and plague that is not written in this book. So what is a disease or sickness do our people get uh, that we're prevailing in? For example, single cell, what else? HIV, what else? Cancer, say again? Right, right. So now keep in mind when you go clubbing, you got a lot of whoremongering going on. So you got a lot of STDs being transmitted to other people, being passed around. That's something that you gotta understand. Going clubbing is a sin. And God said, if you're gonna continue in that lifestyle, I'm gonna judge you. I'm going to give you an STD, herpes, chlamydia, HIV. Now, you you said you said you hope not. All you got to do is just don't go clubbing. That's right. Right? Read that again. Hold on. Read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord, uh, the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed until you are destroyed. So people smoking weed in there, people smoking cigarette, you're gonna get lung cancer. People drinking too much, you're gonna damage your liver. Right. There's nothing nice in going clubbing. Yeah, that's right. And and that, that's something that I used to do as well, because I'm, I'm born and raised here, and I used to party every weekend at South Beach. I used to drink all the time. And at the end, it was I felt bad, because it was never nice. I used to always get sick, you know? But the next weekend, I go out, because it was fun. But once I know the truth, and I found out that clubbing is not the way or the lifestyle that God wants us to walk, I stopped, right? So now I'm with my brothers and sisters, and we celebrate feast days together. That's how we get down, right? So there's a way for us to get together, but God don't want us to uh, get together in a way where you're following the traditions of the white man, right? Say again, sis. 
paganism. Yes, that's right. So that also goes into things like Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day. Your money ain't no fun, you just going up for a vibe. Let's get the, uh, what is it, uh, Thessalonians of, of Spain from the appearance. Okay, so you shouldn't be there to begin with because now you're, you're putting in, you're, you're putting your, you're, you're putting yourself in a situation where now you're vulnerable to commit sin. So you might be in there, you know what, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just sitting down, I'm not doing nothing, but again, you're, you're setting yourself up for failure, right? Read. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5 and verse 22. So this is what God said, read. Abstain from all appearance of evil. So going clubbing is evil. So if you're at the club just standing there, you know, not doing nothing, and somebody looks at you and what do you think, what do you think they see, right? You're still clubbing because you're there. All you gotta do is just be there, and when somebody sees you, you're still clubbing, right? So abstain from the appearance of evil. Don't even be there. Don't even think about it. Just fill your mind and upload your mind with God's law. That's what you need to do. Don't think about no. But what if? What if I want? No, there is no what if. There is no but. Because you don't know when God is going to judge you. Because God is very graceful. He's very merciful. But you still have to pay for your judgment. Right? You still have to pay for the sins that you have committed. Right? So, but what you want to do, as I mentioned earlier, don't even think about it. Don't, what if? Just let it go. And find out what you need to do to walk as an Israelite woman and as an Israelite man. Let's get Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Let's bring it out, bring it out. Okay, so sis, you're right. And we're gonna get into that because the way you're dressing, do you think that's that's appropriate? It's hot. It's hot? Okay. Sis, sis, sis. Says, do you think the way she's dressing is appropriate? Is it yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. What do you think? Is is that? It's appropriate for what she wants to show. Yes. I mean, she wants to attract. What do you think? What do you think, John? Right, John. The way they dress. Is it? A, is is this? Is this the way? Uh, do you have kids? Okay. But if if, if, if you have a daughter. Would you want your daughter to dress like this? Hey. No, I don't want my Okay. So, do you think that's how God says? So, do you think that's how God wants you to dress? No. Says, do you think that's how God wants you to dress? Now, Laura, do you think that's how God want you to dress? What you're dressing right now? You said she does good. Okay, so let's get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Read. Huh. Sis, I know, but li listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Let's hear what God has to say. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So let me ask you a question. What, be what belongs to a woman that a man should not wear? A, okay, purse. What else? Bras. So, right, right. Men do wear bags. Men bags. Yes, right. So this is going into cross dressing. So God said men should wear what women dress, right? Dresses, bras, heels, purses. These are things for women. God said men aren't supposed to do that. Let's read that again, but let's start from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, sis, I'm going to ask you a question. God said that the woman must not wear what belongs to a man. So, what belongs to a man that women should not wear? Pants. Pants. Laura, you're right. You're right. Pants. They, they didn't wear dresses. They wore robes. And they, they wore robes, they wore hosens, right? These are things that they wore. They didn't wear no dresses, because it's in the law saying that man should not cross-dress, right? So that's something that you gotta understand. So you shouldn't be wearing that, 
loud out. You shouldn't be wearing those pants, and you shouldn't be wearing those pants, uh, those those what's that? Those, 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 those are underwear y'all wearing, right? Because when you look for the restroom, right? When you look for the restroom, what what picture are you looking for? Are you going for the one on the left or the one on the right? The ladies. Why why would you choose the one on the right? Cause she have a dress on. She have a dress. So women should be wearing dresses, not pants. Pants just puts on a masculine spirit on you. That's why when you look at the family structure in the household, what do you disagree with, sis? What statement? What statement? Show, show them that the sign with them picket cotton. Show them the sign with that picket cotton in the heat. That was picket cotton in the heat. All right, sis. What well, protection for what? Hands give you yeast infection. Bring it out. Oh. Right. Bring it out. Bring it up. That's, up. Bring it out. That's facts. Bring it up. Protection from what? Okay, it's from your period. No. Not you put all right, look. Sis, all right. Y'all come close. Y'all come close. Because before what? The 1900s? Before the 1900s. Our sisters wore dresses. They never wore pants. Before the 1900s, your ancestors never wore pants. That's right. Bring it out. When you look in the cotton fields, what do you see right here? They had periods too. What do you see? It's hot. It's a thousand degrees. They working from sun up to sun down. And they didn't complain not one time. And you out here in Miami where it's more like maybe 90. And you complaining it's hot? They ain't even picking cotton. They ain't doing no work. And all you do is just walking by. That's it. Right. Bring it up. Sis, y'all can't be making excuses to justify wearing pants. Y'all have to understand. Let's read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garments. For all that, or for all that do so, are abominations unto the Lord thy God. All right, so we're going to bring up the next teacher to further edify y'all how y'all supposed to dress. Because y'all ain't dressing proper according to God's eyes. All right? So y'all might as well stick around and find out what y'all need to do to walk as an Israelite woman and to walk as an Israelite man. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.